Hey guys, what's up? I've been doing a whole bunch of work out here in the shop. Garage, garage shop, shop, garage shop, shop, garage shop. And uh, let's take a quick tour of all the improvements that I have made. All right, here we go. First thing is the lighting. I got two of these super cool brawn LED lights from Harbor Freight and uh, got them hung up back there and uh, they produce a tremendous amount of light. Um, I'm pretty sure the only way to get it any brighter in here would be to take the roof off. Um, but anyway. Moving on from that, I've got this area a little bit more organized. There used to be a stack of uh, flooring right here um, that has since been relocated. But I've got my totes full of various motorcycle parts there, all somewhat organized. I've got my tanks hanging up on the wall, and this one in the middle right here belonged to my stepfather um, we found it in storage and uh, I decided that it deserved to be displayed for all the world to see here in the shop so that's where that is and uh, moving on from that this area over here hasn't really changed very much it's still just kind of a pile of things but all of the boxes that were over here stacked up have been consolidated and are over there in the corner now. So that is my like shipping boxes. And up top over there is a box full of, you know, like packing materials. All right, moving on. Over here we've got the GL hanging out, waiting to be brought back to life. Got some side covers down there and some helmets and stuff. I think, you know, that's all pretty much been the way that it is. Um, I've got my cleaning supplies and my spray paint and mixing oil or, you know, pre-mixed uh, two-cycle fuel and uh, oil and things like that kind of stacked up over here. And then this cabinet has been uh, reconfigured a little bit. I've got all my spray paint there. I've got a bunch of wire up top. I've got some steel wool and some solder and string and things like that. Light switches, various nonsense that was just kind of in the shop. And then up here, I've got oil, stable, brake fluid, uh, transaxle oil for the for the scooter, for the for the Lexi. Um, gum out, oil, 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 uh, more fuel treatment, never dull, little hand pump for light touch, polish, polish. And then over here is gloves, and then that's pretty much the only thing that's new. The rest of this is just random stuff. All right, screwdrivers, H box, used oil side cover, cargo net, welding mask, various tools, naked lady grip tape skateboard, and yeah, up there is stuff and things. This stuff under here has been reorganized. I moved the workbench out, cleaned out from under it completely, got all of the trash out of there, so there is nothing under there except things that are supposed to be under there um, but yeah the workbench itself has been anchored to the wall so no longer will I have stuff in the vise and try to work with it and have the workbench just wiggling all over the place because that was so annoying and also what was very annoying um, 
I never had anything back here to prevent me from dropping stuff behind the workbench, but once this was anchored, I also put up some just pallet board there to serve as a barrier to prevent things from falling down behind the workbench anymore because there have been many occasions that I've went to get something that was hanging up up here and knocked something else off and it fell down behind the workbench and it was just a giant pain to get it back out again but yeah I've got um, an assortment of tools that I use frequently hanging out over here got some gloves Got my drill, my impact driver is also here. I brought it home from work. Anyway, yeah, up here in these cabinets, not much has changed. I got manuals here and assorted stuff over there. You don't need to see that. Um, I've got my Kawasaki, Honda Kawasaki up here. This used to have a whole bunch of stuff in it. Now there's just a little bit of stuff in it. Oil filters fuel line, carburetor gaskets, carburetor bowl gaskets, uh, old spark plugs, just stuff. This is now zip tie, sharpie, and o-ring and plugs storage. I've got my assembly lube, got some grease, got some stain for, for woodworking projects, um, the molly coats in here, mineral spirits, Sandpaper, all of my uh, penetrating oils and brake clean and carb cleaner. I've got some carb and choke cleaner that I stocked up on. There's some cotter pins back there. Good stuff. My otter that says slow progress is still progress. Because, you know, sometimes you just need a little bit of encouragement got some gloves and random junk and random junk I moved my banner back a little bit it used to hang from this board right here and it was a little bit too far forward and like my head would just barely hit it whenever I was standing at the workbench and uh, I thought that it would serve better to just kind of be back there blocking the uh, you know stuff that's on top of the cabinets because you know that's cool but uh, yeah, I got my bench grinder hanging out over here, ready to go. This has um, been designated the tote for items that are pertaining to the current project that I'm working on. I've got this guy back here that's just got sort of random bits and drill bits and screwdrivers and stuff in it. It's just kind of sitting there. It's it's not like doing anything important and then of course you got the drill press and the engines that were on top of the workbench over there are now down here under this so that they're not in the way uh, weed eater in the corner and then yeah various uh, handlebars and tubing and a hubcap and license plates and my fuel van uh, sign which is my favorite and then old rags dirty rags go in there this is Lexi Shaylin's Piaggio uh, fly 150 it's a good good scoot it does the job um, yeah so that's long and the short of it but almost all of this was in the name of clearing everything out and making this space more usable so I can get back to work on the CX. Still everything is hooked up and ready to go. Where's my controls? Down here. I took this dude apart and cleaned up all of the uh, connector, connections, connectors. So all of this stuff works exactly like it's supposed to now. No more pushing the start button and hoping. But yeah, um, got the seat off. I'm going to start getting all of the electrical stuff 
uh, kind of where it needs to be, putting it into its home, home its various homes, and then get the coolant filled up. I had to take the carburetors back off because whenever I tried to add fuel to them, uh, it was running out. So I'm going to have to figure out if the actual fuel tube itself is leaking or if it's just O-rings leaking. But either way, progress is being made. But yeah, just wanted to give you guys an update on what's been going on. The shop is vastly more usable now. And uh, work will continue on the V-Star. The V-Star has been relocated. We took it to the shop where I work and uh, put it away in the back there so that uh, I can work on it um, whenever I have downtime during the day. So that will get resolved. We have some more things to check and we're going to check them and everything is going to be great and everybody's going to be so excited to see it running and riding whenever it does those things so that's that that's it for this video thanks for watching love you bye